fretting. Uh, it, it, it was showing. What were you fretting about, Bob? <laughs> it was, it was there sh- were two big things, right? Yeah, the two big things. What was the first one? First one was about the cats. So uh, we knew we knew that the cats had to have a veterinary certificate, an international health certificate that had to have been dated within ten days of our leaving. Um, and uh, we took care of that in Pennsylvania. You know, got a vet. Uh, we got our health certificate. However, there were some conflicting information about whether that certificate needed to be signed by a USDA vet. Which we couldn't find. We couldn't find in Pennsylvania. Or it wasn't easy to find in Pennsylvania. So we went there without that. The other thing I was fretting about was um, was, it, was our registration for the truck. And uh, you know, about a month or so before our trip, um, you know, Gavin and I were, were driving and a, a U-Haul came and uh, merged onto onto the interstate and uh, Gavin you know, swerved out of the way of this U-Haul and uh, basically put us into a concrete median. And, uh, totaled to- the truck. Totaled the truck. Totaled the truck. So uh, now we're scrambling. We know we're going to leave in a month or so. We've ordered this topper for the back that only fits Toyota Tacomas in certain model years. Yeah, so uh, 2012, 2015 actually. And uh, so that that was in paid for. So now we're looking for a new Tacoma, you know, two thousand twelve to two thousand fifteen. <laughs> uh, and then we had to match the colors because we wanted to make sure we look stylish. And uh, <laughs> we always one. always had to look stylish. But we found a twenty fifteen yep. dark gray one. Yep, we found one, but uh, you know, we did not have our new title or registration by the time we uh, we got to that border. Um, and uh, it was further complicated by the fact that we were traveling in the fall and then we were in Vermont at our yeah. vacation home and and just trying to figure out how to get that title was a huge challenge. We finally decided to just register the car in Vermont mm-hmm. where we had the vacation homes, but then Vermont did not come through getting us the title in time. So we went to the border with just a little piece of temporary registration. We got to the border and um, they said no. They said no. <laughs> Actually, it was the uh, the, the people we. When you go to Mexico, you can you can take your U.S. vehicle into Mexico, but usually through some, just through, through some free zone, which is 12 to 17 miles into Mexico, depending upon where you are. Uh, if you take it any further than that, uh, without getting a temporary import permit, you risk having your vehicle confiscated. And we didn't want to do that, particularly since we knew we were going to be doing a lot of driving there. But we got to what is called the Bonarcito to get our temporary import permit, and without a registration you know they were not uh, they were not going to allow us to do that. So we turned around, went back over the Columbia Bridge, and uh, to regroup into Laredo. That's right, back into the United States. So on the road back to Laredo, we called the Vermont DMV to say, "Where the heck is it's our, our t- registration?" registration. <laughs> and they said uh, the government lackey who I spoke to said, "Well, I sent it, and we don't know. You're just going to have to wait." And we're like, "We can't wait." Forever for it to come. We've already been waiting like two months or something. It was yeah, quite a while. It was, it was at least a month. And it turned turned out that they did not put our our uh, traveling mailbox box number mm-hmm. on on the mail piece of mail. So therefore, it just got rejected and eventually returned to the department, the DMV in Vermont. So we got into Laredo, still not knowing what was going on. Went to a McDonald's. And rented some space with some iced coffees. And then Bob got on the phone to DMV. And he was lucky because he talked to somebody who was very capable, who was willing to go the extra mile to help yeah. people who were really in a dilemma. Yeah. And uh, she basically said, hey, you know, if you have a uh, you have a FedEx account, I can um, get you a new copy and, and use your FedEx account to FedEx it to you. So off we went looking for someone who would receive our FedEx. And the UPS store was right across the parking lot. UPS store right across the street. So we we sent her our our FedEx account number, Uh, we sent her an address, and she put that into the, she put that in, and she even emailed us back and said, hey, I took it down to the mailroom. Um, Super, super nice, and and, and saved us who knows what. Uh, We could have been stuck in Laredo for a long, long time. Um, But, uh, so, Yep. Uh, so we, then I was on the phone. I mean, I was on my computer looking for a place for us to stay because it looked like we were going to be there a couple more nights. And I found a pet-friendly Airbnb not far from where we were, thank God, not yep. too far from the border. And so we had another little break in Laredo, which, by the way, I don't really recommend. <laughs> <laughs> There's really nothing in Laredo. It's a lot of shopping and certainly a lot of, a lot of trucking. A lot of yes, trucking. A lot of trucking. They're being transited uh, across the border there. And some restaurants. I think we found a, a nice yeah. restaurant there. Yeah, we, had, we, had some nice, we had some nice meals there. It was, it was and really we nice. paid 
played some Wicked Pinochle with Gavin. Yep. yep. And then... And then, so, we, you know, the, uh, we finally got our registration, and it was off to the border. Okay, we're trying this again for a second day. Coming into the Mexican border at Laredo. And hoping to get into Mexico today. It didn't work two days ago because of our car paperwork. But we've done a bit of hustling, so I hope it'll work today. What are we doing here, Bob? Getting our picture taken. Leaving USA. See the sign? Yeah, we're leaving USA. We got our picture taken. I didn't take my smoothies picture. I didn't get a picture of the leaving USA sign, unfortunately. And up ahead is the bridge. But we have to go over. Move over to the right. 350 US dollars to cross the bridge into Mexico. Well, we hope we are. Hope so. You're already in another country earlier. Just not officially. Now, Dad just going to pay her $3.50. Hey, That's what it you? costs to get into Mexico. $3.50. And we're 73 pesos. Buenas tardes. Say hello. hello. <laughs> I have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite grab it. All right. Now we're crossing a bridge. It's pretty desolate around the border. We just drove uh, half an hour from Laredo to get to this border area, which Bob selected because it's less busy than the main one. There goes Ellie. And Ellie's been crying the whole half hour. Crossing the bridge behind a truck. Laredo was absolutely full of trucks that go back and forth all the time. Crossing a river, what river is this? The Rio Grande. The Rio Grande River, folks. Would you like to see it? Here it is. Passing the truck. And now we hope we truly will be welcome in Mexico. Where do we go here? As the sign says. to stop this now because yep. we are now at the Banjercito where we have to get our car permit our car permit and register our cats. What all do we have to do here? I think it's just the uh, the Banjercito for the temporary import permit for the truck. For the truck. So this is what stopped us last time. So wish us luck this time. Adios. Hasta la vista. And uh, you know once once again we paid our three dollars and fifty cents to go across the Columbia Bridge. You know, we got we got to the other side in, in the border. Hopeful. Hopeful, hopeful. We had to stop at immigration because we have our uh, Mexican visas and we had to get, uh, you know, our, our, our visa there that was good, be good, for, good for 30 days until we got to immigration in Guadalajara, uh, which is a whole other story, but uh, you know, to get our temporary residency. Um, once with that, we went back to the Banjarcita to get our temporary import permit. We paid our $40 fee, a processing fee, and uh, we gave them a $400 deposit uh, for our temporary import permit. And they took our paperwork. They took it. Touchdown. Not, not, not only that, they remembered us. <laughs> they remembered us. And they didn't speak too much. They, didn't, they spoke pretty not too much English there. No. And of course, we didn't speak too much Spanish. So it was no. a, that was a difficult process there. Yeah. So it was back in the truck and then uh, through customs. And in Mexico, they have a, a red light, green light system. Um, if you've ever visited Mexico in the air, to, uh, and landed at an airport, you know, you get your bags and there's a red light, green light, you push a little button, if you get a red light, you know, they inspect your stuff, if you get a green light, you go straight on through. Well, with our luck, you know, of course we got red the red light. light. <laughs> pull, it, pull off to the side, you know, and uh, they, they ask the normal questions, you have any drugs, you have any guns, you have any knives, uh, no, 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 uh, we do have some cats, and uh, you know, they, they open the back and they see the thing stuffed to the gills. They say, okay, we're going to... We have a berry sax. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have berry sax. <laughs> we have a guitar. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> we're going to we're going to have to X-ray this thing. So which was, was actually a relief to me that they didn't want us to totally no, empty yeah, it yeah, because right. it was so hard to get it all in there. Exactly. Oh yeah, there's, all, there's only one way for all that stuff to fit. You saw the you saw you know maybe you've seen the uh, we have a we have a video on how we packed that truck. And uh, it, it barely barely fits, and it only fits in one specific uh, way. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so the cats came going through the X-ray machine. Cats come out, people come out. I drove it around, you know, to the X-ray machine. It was actually uh, uh, a very interesting machine. The operator and I stood behind the wall, and uh, this machine sort of um, went over top of the truck and took some X-ray. Sort of went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I know because I saw it because I was over with the cats <laughs> and we were so worried about the cats health certificates and everything and this is what happened with the cats while Bob was over with the x-ray machine the other customs people came over and said oh gatitos que mono oh so cute and I said do you want our paperwork like, yeah. <laughs> yeah no paperwork that was easy <laughs> So then we got back in. <laughs> got, finally got back in, and uh, got cats strapped back in, and off we, off we went. Now we're now we're driving to Mexico. Wait, uh, we're not just driving to Mexico. Off we went, and we were in Mexico. There was a sign that said no, "Welcome to said, Mexico." I said we were in Mexico. I said we were in Mexico. Yay! <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Hasta la vista, and may your suitcases be messy too. Subscribe to our channel. Gracias.